at age 40, it's very important. These are the years that we are the life-saving years. We have young children at home. We are part of the workforce. That is when we need to be screened. Screening for breast cancer starts with a mammogram. We have these technologies available to us and taking full advantage of them, taking full advantage of the healthcare system that we are able to screen for breast cancer um, early on before you feel it. A mammogram is typically a 2D machine that takes pictures of breast tissue. This is going to be, you know, at the level of grains of sand and I think that's important to look at. We're going to start feeling it maybe at the size as a pea, an olive or a grape size lesion and um, that really changes the management. If doctors find anything suspicious during a mammogram, they may call the patient back to get a breast ultrasound. There, a technician will use an ultrasound machine to get a closer look at the area of concern. It's usually an, uh, a question answering tool. So it's a, it's a, it's a more of a problem solving modality yeah. rather than a screening modality. One big difference is you're gonna be squeezed in any sort of mammogram, 2D or 3D, just the way it is. You lie down, you lie back for an ultrasound room. There's, ultrasound has zero radiation. You lie back, the technologist comes in and takes pictures of your um, breast. Experts say the goal is to find breast cancer early before it develops and spreads. If you're feeling it, if it's gone to your limb notes, we're at later and later stages. I think the goal is, and I think it'll happen in our lifetime, is that we'll find it so early that it's it's kind of, you know, no big deal. To get there, experts say women need to know their bodies and make sure they're getting their yearly mammograms after the age of 40. For Lee Health, I'm Lindsay Fry.